Pancreatic cancer is difficult to detect early, and for more than 80 percent of patients, it is too late to operate. A South Korean research team has become the first in the world to successfully develop a system that classifies pancreatic cancer according to its cause, which promises to be a big help in diagnosis and treatment. Chung Eun-ju has the details. Pancreatic cancer is difficult to diagnose early with ultrasound and blood tests because the pancreas is located deep inside the body. Also, many pancreatic cancer patients don't show symptoms until the cancer has grown and spread to nearby blood vessels and organs. The five-year survival rate for all cancer patients in South Korea is 71.5 percent, while pancreatic cancer has a survival rate of only 15.2 percent. This is because most patients aren't diagnosed until the cancer is inoperable. It's also because the exact cause of pancreatic cancer isn't identified, and patients are administered anti-cancer drugs that prove ineffective. At the time of diagnosis, in about 40 percent of pancreatic cancer patients, the cancer has spread to the liver or bones, and about 30 percent of patients have blood vessel invasion in nearby organs and therefore cannot undergo surgery. South Korean researchers have become the first in the world to succeed in classifying pancreatic cancer into six types based on cause, which makes it possible to develop customized treatments. After analyzing the genetic proteome of cancer tissue and blood samples obtained from 150 actual pancreatic cancer patients, scientists found that the genes and signaling pathways that cause the disease differ according to six types. We confirm that pancreatic cancer can be classified into six subtypes, not just one type of cancer, and that each subtype is caused by different molecular mechanisms. The research team also verified through animal experiments that each type of pancreatic cancer has different causes and characteristics. According to their analysis among the six types, the one with the worst treatment prognosis has high cancer cell proliferation and high metastasis, and its survival rate is one-third lower than types whose prognosis would be considered good. We were able to identify the subtype that has the poorest treatment results. Patients in this subtype showed invasion signals and increased cell proliferation, but lower immune signals compared to those in other subtypes. The research team transferred the pancreatic cancer classification technology to a growing small business so it can be used in the medical field and hope to develop customized treatments tailored to each subtype. Jong Eun-ju, Arirang News.